man, they gon' they gon' replace them, they gon' they gonna fuel pump, they gon' come on new line, the man, they gon' they gon' come up braided steel, they gon' they gon' pressure regulator, they gon' they gon' ain't them a little about five thirty, they gon' they gon' talk about race car motor, they gon' they gon' talk about hopefully it don't go boom. these parts from O'Reilly gotta get a fuel pump new filter a couple other things try to get this caprice worked out see if we can get something done with it here and I had to run right back to O'Reilly's pick up a 399 piece wiring kit terminal kit so hopefully we can get this wire straightened out ran and got the parts for the caprice about to do the fuel system not the whole fuel system but we're about to drop the tank put a new pump in it got a new filter sock we're gonna run some new braided line up front for the carburetor a couple little other things clean up some wiring and i got a valve stem for that back tire i've been putting that off for like three months so we'll get that knocked out I'll go ahead and show you guys what parts i got Nothing great, but some shit that'll patch up what we got going on for the time being. All right, so these are the parts we picked up here. Stuff with the vial sim. Got a couple cores, tightener tool, and if that don't work, we'll throw a new stem in it. Sock filter. Here's our new pump. Just some garbage until I get what I want, but we need something to get back on the road with. We got some braided steel line. Little jumpers for another thing I'm going to do later, but yeah, all right, we're going to get this thing going. All right, first thing we're gonna do is drain the fuel out this thing, the jug here. Once we get this tank semi-empty, I don't think we'll be able to get all the gas out of it. We'll get as much as we can. We'll get this thing up on jack stands, drop the tank and get to it. Do not try this at home. We just got all the gas strained out of this thing. We're about to get it up on jack stands, get these back wheels off, get a little bit easier access to the tank, drop that, swap these pumps out. If we don't want to get to the half court, I may think about that. We got this guy up on the jack stands, them Harbor Freight Boys. So we're going to pray, <laughs> then we're going to get under this thing. And get this tank up out of here. We got our sending unit out, new pump, new filter sock, our little hardware that comes with it. Check this out. 
Whew. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Think it was time? Jeez. All right, one thing I did not like is this. I don't even see in there. A lot of little crud in there. So, before we put this in, I'm going to go out here and try to flush it out. See how that goes, but get back to it here. We'll put this new pump on, new filter, filter sock, sleeve, shoe, whatever you want to call it. Put that back on, get the sending unit back in, hook back up, put the tank back in, and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, correction, we're not using the new hose. I don't know if you can see, but smaller diameter inside, and it's already chunking some rubber. I don't want that ending up in the fuel system. So, nothing was wrong with the old one. We'll use the old one. And up in there, like so. Get our new fuel filter sock sleeve shoe. All right, we're back together. Got our new filter on, new pump. About to drop this thing back in the tank. We got the core replaced in this valve stem. I'm not going to replace the whole valve stem right now because I don't feel like busting a bead down on this tire. But we got the core replaced and new caps. Hopefully that'll seal, seal and solve our problems. We got the gas tank back up in there. Fuel lines all reattached, replumbed. We got the wiring reattached. Everything's good there. Still got it up on jack stands for now. Tomorrow I want to do a leak test. It's too late tonight to be messing around starting the car. So still got to run my braided fuel line up here in the carburetor. Got my tire fixed, hopefully for now, with that new valve stem core. Hopefully that does the deal. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's late. I want to go inside and get some rest now. So get back on this in the morning. What's up, guys? Just wanted to show you I was not playing when I said I'm too busy to get into these cars right now. I didn't even make it to the afternoon today. Dryer messed up. Felt seal gone. Rubbing on the back. This thing's making a hell of a racket. So we're going to try to get this seal off and replace it and get this dang dryer back together so we can get back to doing some productive Ooh, Magic. Dryer's fixed. What's up, guys? All right, we're back here. Got some good rest last night, so we're back out here at it. It is cold and rainy today, as you can see. Got no heat out here, so. All right, so basically all we got left today is getting this braided uh, steel fuel line in. I don't know exactly how we're going to get it plumbed up in there, but we'll get that figured out. So let's go ahead and get to it. Bypass regulator there and our pressure gauge. So basically, somewhere in between there, we're going to get this braided steel hose in. And I have yet to figure out the best way to do that, but working on an idea. All right, so this is how it came out. So we got our fuel direct coming from the tank to the Holly Bypass Regulator. That goes to our fuel pressure gauge. And then we got the braided steel line running to the carb. I put this loop in it so we can drain fuel out and change, you know, whatever fuel we need to do make that a lot easier so that's why I put the loop in there but yep yeah, pretty happy with it we're about to uh, fire up the fuel pump here make sure we don't have no leaks or nothing like that and then uh, should be good to go so we just ran the, uh, the old leak test <laughs> we passed everything was good all our fittings and connections were fine no leaks so everything is good there we got the jack out from the back we got all the jack stands out from underneath it about to fire this thing up, see what she does, make sure everything's fine on that end, and then uh, probably call it a night here. We'll see. So we got all that knocked out, new fuel pump, new sock, shoe, sleeve, whatever you want to call it. We replumbed the upper part of the fuel system here. We got the back tire fixed up. A couple little other odds and ends got knocked out. So 
pretty happy with it. Tomorrow, hopefully, it'll be nice enough to take this thing out and see what it does. I mean, everything looked good. There was no leaks. It was idling up pretty nice. You know, I didn't feel like running it too long today, but tomorrow, hopefully, like I said, the weather will be nicer and we can get this thing out and actually see what it'll do now. All right. Well, stay tuned.